Hey, what's good, YouTube? What's good? What's happening? You already know I'm back in the building. Todd Good Life Archer. <clears throat> uh, basically, in this video, I'm going to basically um, go over domain, how to connect a domain to build the all without using, uh, you know, going too much detail uh, into uh, where you, uh, you know, connecting your domain at, you know, at the, you know, the... The, the name chief, so the go daddies and stuff like that, get going all technical and stuff. It's, it's a real easy, simple process. And I'm going to show you, actually, I'm going to connect a domain right now that I have, um, buildall365.com. It's my domain for Buildall. All right. So what you want to do, you want to go build all business and then go to resources. All right, so now you will come here where it says promote your domain. And then hmm, you'll put your right here but you know let me i'm actually speeding so forget that part right you're going to hit that and this is this is the box is going to come up you see this ns1 all the way to dot com you're going to copy that that's what you're going to do you're going to copy that okay you're going to copy that boom right now let's say you bought your name from GoDaddy, Namecheap. I'm gonna use Namecheap, okay? Here go the domain name right here. You wanna hit manage domain. What you're looking for is name servers, okay? Name servers. All right, you ain't gotta do nothing. Once you buy the name, this is the next process. All right, go to name servers. After you go to build the all. And you, you know, you you copy that what I just told you to copy. You come right here. You see, it says name service right here, and it says custom DNS. You'll click that, okay? See custom DNS. All right. What it say? NS one because I already have it connected. Boom. And I'll paste that there, and then I'll go back, and then I copy NS one. I mean NS two. Remember, be careful right here because you got the semicolons right here at the end. So you just want to get it to dot com. You want to copy that, and then you want to come over. Uh, you want to go back there again, and then you want to paste that right there. Boom, and then you just add to name server. Boom, and that's it. Once that's done, it might say something right here at the top where it says like, you know, it might take a little two hours. It's gonna be like five minutes. But once you do that, boom, you do all of that. Then the name that you had. That's how you get it. Okay? That's how you get it. Buildall.com. Save. Okay, so now what you see here, <clears throat> you see that right there, buildall.com, that's my domain name. So now somebody asks for build the all, asks, uh, uh, they want to see this opportunity with build the all, I can just say, here, go to uh, buildall365.com, and boom, it's there. All right, let me see if it works. Test it out. It's not working yet. Well, let me make sure. Make sure I don't have it connected because I had it connected. 
you probably do have it connected. Yep, I do have it connected. Just connect domain. I'm just, just trying to make sure everything's fine. Everything's not fine now. I think I messed it up. Um, disconnect the domain. That was my fault. My bad. Okay. I'm going to uh, get the link that we want. I want the long sales page. Promote your own domain. Everything's good here. Okay, let's see. Same DNS records. Okay, same DNS records. And then that should be it. Right, that's how you basically uh, load up a domain. And the same thing goes for like, um, if you don't have the tier twos, you don't have the, uh, the tier two. Hold on, I just wanna check it, make sure. It normally comes on right away. Sometimes you gotta wait. So don't get all scary. Yeah, sometimes you gotta wait. I gotta wait it out. I already did some bonehead stuff. Um, but, uh, let me just show you guys. Cause you know, just in case you like, Oh, but I don't see that. And you get confused. For the ones that basically, you know, let's say you have a domain name, you want to add it, you will just hit more options and it will say connect domain. You're going to basically do the same exact thing. That I just did. Look, you're gonna copy this from here to here, and you're gonna go to your GoDaddy's or your Namecheap, and you're gonna load it up in the name service. It's the same thing, okay? Same thing. Once you have done that, you're gonna put your your name right here that you want, your domain name, and then you're gonna hit "I got it." Let me let me uh, connect the domain, and it's gonna save. And then five more minutes, you're done. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that. It's not even a lot of work. You know, it's not even a lot of work, but I know a lot of people had a lot of, uh, you know, people got a lot of issues with uh, their domain name and how to connect it and stuff like that. But that's how you connect the domain. You don't need to buy no more domains. Okay, you can keep on making domains, subdomains, like, this one I have, uh, Tiger Life Archer. That's my main domain name, right? Okay, I just deactivated this, but let's just say I wanted a domain name for that, right? So I'll just go here, connect a domain, and what I'll do is I'll put, let's say, info, or let's just say test, 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 that, Todd. Um, all right, so boom, got the domain on. So now 
this is the this is the this is the beauty of build all man like you don't have to spend your money you keep spending your money everything is here is done now look boom i have my domain now let me activate it publish it Look at that. Look at that. Might take a couple of minutes though. Might take a couple of minutes. Um, I don't know what's going on right now. Take a couple of minutes though. All right. Um, so that being said, guys, you know, like I said, you have everything here. You can make subdomains. Got your domain. I clear it out. All right. So, sit, guys. I'm about to hit, man. Talk to life. I'll just sign in the body here. Boss up or don't or get bossed around, man. You already know how we do. All right. Peace.